that he asking you like, do you got a pimp? And I was like, no. He was like, so you are you trying to make some money? And I was like, not like that. Yo, she the go, I'm a eat it. Yeah, she got that fried fiend. I'm all on it. Would she pay? Work her head down to her ass. Call up on me. Would you die? Would you slide for me? Just ride for me? Hey, y'all. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hey, girl. My name is Coco Lola Jazzy or whatever you want to call me. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Leave a like and comment. If you're returning, hey, sis, welcome back. And thank you so much for coming back. Now, today I'm coming, giving y'all another story time. And I already got my wine. I hope y'all got y'all wine. So, this is gonna be a good story time. So, hold on, hold on. Okay, so we all know that meeting people online is becoming more, um, damn, what's the word? more common because everything is online we doing everything virtually and everything so we all know that meeting people online is becoming the new normal thing to do so with that being said you have to be cautious of who you meet online because bitches be weird so if y'all been following my channel y'all i know that i moved to houston and i've been trying to make friends out here and i don't go outside and meet friends so i'll be meeting people like on facebook groups and bumble bumble bff to be exact so bumble has like a dating side they have a business side and a bff side where you make friends so i don't know how i learned about bumble bff but um I got on there and I made my little profile and I started matching with a bunch of people and I met a bunch of people but only like one and a half people made the cut as being like a friend maybe so I met this girl dang I gotta think of a name so I didn't think that far into the story okay so I met home girl and I'm gonna give her the name Mariah and I don't know why, but we just gonna call her Mariah. So I met Mariah and she was really cool. And we was talking on the app for like a day and she was really cool at first. And then she was like, um, what's your Instagram? I'm gonna follow you. I gave her my Instagram and she followed me on Instagram. So, you know, when you follow people on Instagram, you start looking at their stories and stuff and what they doing. So I'm looking at her story and I see that she's at all the nice restaurants that I be wanting to try and stuff. She's at all the little spots that I like. So I start, you know, writing on her little thing, like, where is this? You know, I'm trying to figure out where she at, what she doing, and maybe I can visit some of them restaurants. So I or swiped up on the story. It ain't swipe up on Instagram. I just commented on her story and i'm just like where is this at and she's telling me one day she hit me up and was like hey let's go find some rich man to buy us some drinks and i was like yeah let's go do that because why not rich man buying you drinks why not which that really should have been a red flag because that's literally just giving away like what you're trying to do but um i didn't think about it like that i said okay it sounds good and then you know later that day she ended up telling me that she got busy so she was gonna have to cancel and we can you know do something another time and that i think she said she was going out of town or something it was gonna have to do something another time and i was like okay cool so fast forward okay so she canceled basically and we didn't go and get the drinks but i didn't really care and i didn't really think nothing of it and then later on down the line like a few weeks later she hit me up and was like hey boo let's go get hookah and i was like cool let's go so i get ready i get dressed and we go and i finally meet her and we go and get some hookah so at the hookah place, everything was cool, the vibe was cool and everything. We didn't have, we didn't get any drinks. We just literally was just smoking hookah. And I don't even really smoke hookah, but it's like, why not? 
I guess. Anyway, so after we left the hookah, well, we was getting ready to leave the hookah place. And if you are in Houston and you know Houston people don't like to go home, like every time you meet somebody somewhere, they be ready to go to the next place. Like soon as you leave in a place, they be like, where are we going to go next? What's next? What's next? Like people don't like to go home. So she said, oh, we should go get some drinks. And I was like, okay cool because you know that's what people do out here they literally don't like to go home it's just hopping to one place to the next to the next to the next so i didn't really think nothing of it so she was like let's go get drinks but first excuse me we can stop at my hotel because i gotta change and um i didn't think nothing of it i think when i met her i don't know because i met a lot of people on bumble and i talked to a lot of people on there to the point where I don't know, like, specific conversations that I had with people, like, how long they've been here or whatever. I know, I know I asked her, and I figured that she told me that she just moved here. So, if she was staying in a hotel, you know, that would kind of make sense if she just moved here. So, I didn't really think nothing of the hotel part. And I was like, okay, cool. We just gonna go to her hotel and... She gonna get changed and we gonna get some drinks. So we go to her hotel, we get there and then there's a man there and she was saying that it's her boyfriend, but uh, should I say that or is that just gonna give away my story? There is a man at the hotel, you know, in the room. So she was saying that it was her boyfriend but later down the line, you figured that, no, that wasn't her boyfriend. At this point, I was kind of nervous because there's a whole man in here. And she said it was her boyfriend, no. But that, that still didn't make me be like, oh, just your boyfriend, cool. No, I was still like, you know, I don't know this guy. This is suspicious. So, um... <laughs> Oh, oh, so the boyfriend that wasn't the boyfriend, it probably maybe was the boyfriend, but I don't think it was the boyfriend. Um, he was like, You look nice, and I'm like, Um, thanks. And like I said, I was kind of nervous about this person being in here, like, What are you doing here? And she never, you know, it would be common courtesy for you to tell somebody, like, Oh, somebody's already there, or whatever. Unless you're just trying to pull some funny business, which you was trying to pull some funny business, you would have at least said, like, you know, my boyfriend's in the room or whatever. So then you could, a person could have the chance to decide if they want to go there or not or be in that situation because that's kind of awkward, you know? So, yeah, so he was like, you look nice. And I was like, thank you. But... I was kind of nervous, but at the same time, not that nervous because my purse is heavy because it's something in it. So I wasn't really that nervous. So, um, yeah, she was like, like I said, she said that she had to change. So she's getting in the shower. She's about to change. And I'm sitting in an awkward situation where this person is in a room and, you know, anyways, next Fast forward, he was like, um, you got folks? And I'm like, mm, no. <laughs> I learned that, in a, you know, like a regular person, like, you know, you're not going to know what that means. But I, yeah, this story is going to be very short lived. So, he asked me, do I have folks? And if you're a normal person, you're going to be like, what folks? You're talking about GDs or something? You know, but I learned in like in the stripper world that when people ask you that, he asking you like, do you got a pimp? And I was like, no. He was like, so you are you trying to make some money? And I was like, not like that. And then that was really just the end of that, honestly. It could have been worse than that. Um, 
it could have been serious. It could have been really serious. I'm, I guess I'm happy that it was just like, he just asked the question and I was like, no. And that was just that. But like, girl, you, <laughs> you knew what you was doing, girl. You was trying to recruit me. You was trying to recruit me. You a bottom, bottom girl. He was trying to recruit crew me is cool but you know i wasn't even mad at the girl or nothing and i didn't feel no type of way about her i literally still like talk to her and follow her and everything because i don't have i don't have nothing against people that do that but girl you should have said that you can't just like sneakily trying to put somebody in a situation like that because like i said it could have been worse like it could have been he could have like slapped me down and be like you bet you my whole night something like it could have been like you know, it could have been something crazy. I don't know, but that's all it was, basically. And then she got out the shower, and we literally did go and get drinks and stuff after that. I was, it was kind of awkward. I should have just went home after that, <laughs> honestly. But we went and got drinks and stuff, and yeah. Okay, y'all, sorry to add in this blank screen, but this is important. I forgot to add this in there. Um, I had met her already before, but I didn't notice it was her until like a while after I had got her number and stuff and all this stuff happened. Um, I met her in Miami with a friend. I was with my friend and she was telling us how she was out of town. We met in the club. She was telling us how she was. Okay, my fridge is making noise. She was telling us how she was from out of town and she could fly us here and there and blah, 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 blah. And she added us on Snapchat. Now, y'all, when I got her number, I didn't do nothing with it like do no Snapchat because I don't really get on Snapchat. But after a while, I was trying to look for like a memory on Snapchat. And then I got on there and her... Like, you know, when your contacts pop up, her picture was on there. So I was already her friend on there. So I was like, wow, that's her. I did tell her about it. And she was just like, oh, yeah, cool. Like, it was just a, every, a normal, everyday thing. I guess maybe for her. I don't know. But, yeah, so this is going to be a short story. And that's, I guess that's all that I have. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And